Before I get the tea, I gotta get my lips right, you know? Oh, I know ain't no way. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my song When We're Together is now available on all the streaming platforms below. So make sure you're buying, streaming, downloading, watching the music video and doing everything because new music is on the way. And while you're at it, check out the merch at outfits.art because you might want to get you something for Christmas coming up, you know. But now that self promo is out of the way, have you liked this video yet? You better because it's about to be Tea, drama, and mess. My dad kicked Donna out of the memorial, and I love that. I love every moment of that. Summer Fever, season two, story by Lucas. Chapter 30, new leads. Uh-oh. All right, new leads, finding out who um, Phantom is, maybe? Maybe. What's T? The car. It's that car again. And then we got hit. <gasps> Oh my gosh, we almost got hit by a car. What the, Byron, you saved my life. Who the hell was driving this car? How could they not see you? Oh, they saw me, all right. I was their target. Mr. Black checked the cameras, but it's too dark to see outside who was driving the car. And the driver carefully avoided most of the cameras outside. Great. It was probably someone who was drunk, you know? That's what most tourists do around here. I don't think so. Are you okay, Summer? Now, what are you still doing here? I'm just making sure Summer is all right. She is fine, you can go. Thanks again, Byron. No problem, get some rest. He's such a sweetheart. Did you invite him to come into your room? Really, Summer? What? He just saved my life, be grateful. He literally just saved my life. You should be a little bit more grateful, Dad. He works here, come on. Calm down, old man, we're not dating or anything. We simply enjoy each other's company, that's all. Stream company by Ali Fitz. Well, let's, let's hope it stays that way. He's so annoying. Anyways, you should get some rest, sweetie. Have a good night and let me know if you need anything. Okay. Bye, Dad. Who am I calling? Hey, can I come over? Who, Lee or Zachariah? Okay, Lee. <laughs> hey, Summer. Why would you ditch your five-star hotel to sleep at my place? It wasn't really five stars tonight. Come in, I wanna know everything. I'ma tell you the tea, honey. Eric, Summer will be sleeping over tonight. Hey, Summer. Hi, thanks again for letting me crash. No problem, we only have one bedroom, but the couch is yours. Good, the couch is perfect for tonight. Cool, well, I'm going to sleep, so don't party until dawn. <laughs> Bye, he's so nice. Do you want a cup of tea before you tell me what's going on? I might spill it, honey. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's do it. Let's get, let's have some tea and let's talk. So tell me, what happened? Well, I think that Phantom tried to kill me tonight. What? Lee, you spilled tea on my arm. You just told me that someone tried to kill you. How would you think I would react? Did I spill some on the blanket too? No, just my arm, but thanks for caring. <laughs> Sorry, I really like this blanket. <laughs> what happened? The car tried to run me over, but Byron saw it in time and shoved me out of the driveway. How did you know it was Phantom though? I recognize the car. It's the same black vintage vehicle I saw before. Lee, I refused to steal something for them and now they're after me. This is awful. But I want you to know that you will always be safe here, okay? And you can stay as long as you want. Thanks. Now, I'd like to know something else. What was Byron doing there? Really? What, I need context to understand how it happened. <laughs> Spill the tea. But not literally, this is my favorite blanket. <laughs> yeah, you've already spilled enough on me. So basically, I wanted someone to go to my mom's memorial with me. I asked him and he said yes, so we went together. Really? And why did you ask him in particular? I asked Byron because I really like him. I asked him because I really like him. Byron is a nice guy. He's always had my back since I came back to Lucky Shores. So I feel good around him. I wanted to share this with him. Of course. Who wouldn't want to share a moment with a hot and mysterious surfer guy? Was that the only thing you shared with him? <laughs> Lee, I won't even answer that. All right, as you want. By the way, I have to tell you something too. Oh sure, sorry, I made this all about me. I'm so sorry to bother you with all this. 
don't be ridiculous. I'm the only person you told about Phantom, I get it. But I have to warn you, what I have to say is a lot less dramatic though. <laughs> Come on, tell me. Well, I've been saving up for a few years now. I was trying to open my own beauty salon and spa downtown. And now that I have enough saved money, I wanna go for it. <gasps> oh my God, Lee, this is great news. I'm so happy for you. Do you need help with anything? I could help you make this happen. It's really kind of you to offer, but I wanna do this on my own. That's why I've been saving up for so many years. I understand, this is your project. Well, guess what? You can already count me as your first customer. I hope so, and you better tip big. Uh, well, I will, with my dad's money. Anyway, the next morning, ugh, my back. This is the moment when I regret not sleeping on my memory foam mattress. <laughs> hey there, did you have a good sleep last night? Hi, yeah, the couch is very comfy. You don't have to be polite. I know that couch is terrible. It is, sorry. <laughs> Did you go for a run this early? Yeah, Lee had to start working early this morning, so I also woke up early and decided to be productive. You're brave. <laughs> By the way, I never asked Lee, but how long have you and him been friends? Oh, years. Ever since he started working at the hotel. We were 18. Oh wow, you've been friends for a long time now. Yeah, we've come a long way. He's my best friend. And I couldn't be happier that he's trying to open his own business. Isn't that amazing? It is. What about you? Do you have plans for the future? If I don't get killed by Phantom. Um, plans for the future? Me? I have a few ideas, but nothing concrete or future. I don't know her. I live in the moment. Um, I got a few ideas. Well, I have a few ideas, but it's nothing really concrete, to be honest. Nothing ever is, am I right? True. Sometimes we just need to be more adventurous. Look at you, you're gorgeous, clever, and witty. I'm sure you could do anything you want with whoever you want. Um, thanks? Did he just flirt with me a little bit or am I, am I tripping? I mean it, and I'm sure you can get very adventurous when you want to. Huh? What the? Is he flirting with me? He is. That was weird. Should I tell Lee? That was sus. Summer, can we talk? I think we should. Oh. Hey, Summer, I'm talking to you. And I don't give a damn. Get out my face. Summer, stop ignoring me. We need to talk about what you discovered the other day. Oh, you mean that you had an affair with my mom? Shut your mouth, no one can hear this. I need to know that you can keep this secret to yourself and not tell anyone. First of all, I'm free to do whatever I want. But don't worry, the secret is safe with me. I won't do this to my dad. Good. Everything okay here? Beat his ass. Oh, wow. He left, I probably scared him. He knows no one should mess with me. No, he left because our conversation was over. <laughs> um, no, I'm pretty sure I scared him away. Whatever you say, Malcolm. Summer, your father told us about what happened last night. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm good. What happened last night? Could you identify the car or a license plate? I don't know, just a black vintage car, no license plate. Dear Lord. And where were you, Malcolm? Were you hired to protect Summer? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. What happened last night? Yeah, it's okay, Bonnie, look at me, I'm fine. Don't worry about me, all right? All right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the spa. At the spa? I'm coming along to watch. I mean, to, to watch so nothing bad happens to you. I don't need you there. Just stay right here, little perv. <laughs> And he wasn't even there to protect me when the car almost hit me last night, so he is not a good bodyguard. Hey Lee, can we talk? Summer, hey, how was your night on the couch? I didn't want to wake you up this morning. You look so cute when you sleep. It was all right. I woke up when Eric came back from his jog. Uh-oh. Oh, did you two have the best friend versus boyfriend talk? Not really, but we talked about you. How we're really happy for you to start your own salon and he said something else. Wait. He said he was happy for my project. Uh, yeah, why? I don't know. I didn't tell him that I wanted to open my own beauty salon yet. You did it? He wasn't even surprised when I talked about it. Like, he already knew. This is weird. Or maybe he heard me on the phone with my banker. That's probably what happened. No! Anyways, I have to get back to work. He's giving sus! See you later. Wait. I'm starting to have a bad feeling about Eric. Ugh. 
wait, I'm getting sus. I'm getting nervous because they had him arrested and then he um he's out of jail. So if he's really like sus and he actually is phantom or something, well, oh well. Hey there, they drinking already? Oh no, don't you worry. This is just fresh juice. <laughs> I'm not hitting rock bottom yet. Something on your mind? Something? There's a lot more than something on my mind. If you want to talk about it, I know a great guy that could help. He always wants to talk about it with me. Who? Me! Aside from being a charming surfer and staffer, I can be a great bartender and listener. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Do you want to talk about what happened last night? No, let's not. I keep playing the scene over and over in my head. So let's talk about something else. Fair enough, then maybe we could talk about the coral reef. The coral reef? Really? What is there to say about it? Are you kidding me? There are tons of things to say about the coral reef. It's home to so many species that contribute to our ecosystem for our oceans. Also, it's beautiful, like you. And I can only want to appreciate it and protect it at all costs, just like you. Byron, I think it's the first time I hear a guy use the coral reef as a pickup line. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. It's a cute comparison. What can I say? Maybe I am cute. Maybe. They need to stop flirting. Can I get you something else to drink? I'd like another glass of mango juice, please. Coming. Make it two, please. I'll be joining Summer, if that's okay. Sure, you're not working today? No, but I'm here to see Cash. Then I saw you at the bar and I thought it would be a good occasion to catch up. Just like old times. Right, we haven't done that in a long time. I know, and things have been really messy lately. But I wanted to thank you for not telling anyone about that time you ran into Cash and I making out. <laughs> Why would I tell other people? It's none of my business. Although, I would appreciate it if next time you would do it in a place where people don't eat. <laughs> right. By the way, I wanted to tell you that I see what you do for Cash. You're really helping him with his recovery. Thanks, yeah, he's doing great. I just knew I had to help him when I found him after that night. What night? It was the night we went to the bar and Donna had you kidnapped to our bachelorette party. I worked very early the next day, so I arrived at the hotel at around 5 a.m. And there he was, asleep in the laundry room. He looked completely lost and was shivering in his black hoodie. I'll never forget it. The night of the bachelorette party? In a black hoodie. <gasps> the knife? Cash had a knife? He was gonna kill me because of Tiana? Was it Cash who tried to attack me that night? He looked like he needed help. He was so upset and angry. That's why I was so committed to helping him. Here's your drinks, ladies. Thanks, Byron. Cheers to Healy. No, cheers to my brother almost stabbing me. Mm-mm. This story is so good. We are finding some, so much out. Hey, wouldn't that be my favorite guest at the hotel? Well, hi, Zachariah. You're lying. No, I would never lie to you. Would you? I'm not a liar, Zach, as she lies every episode. <laughs> then is it true that you went to your mom's memorial with the coffee boy? You mean Byron? Yeah, that guy, I guess. Did you go with him? Yes, I did. I asked him to go with me. Oh, all right. So are you two like a thing or something? No, why do you ask? No reason, I was just being curious. Zach, are you jealous? Jealous? Why would I be jealous of this guy? I'm definitely not jealous, I was just asking. Mm-hmm, yeah right, you're totally jealous. Oh, and he is. So what are you up to tonight? I need to catch up with someone. And he's waiting for me at the beach right now. Is it a booty call? Oh my, shut up. What, I can ask. Good night, Zach. Just good night. I love them. And he's cracking up. Oh. Summer's not afraid of nobody. She confronts everyone when she finds out some shit. Hi, Summer, I'm really happy you wanted to meet up. I feel like it's been ages since the last time we hung out. No problem, I really needed to talk to you. What are you doing alone at the beach? I, uh, I meditate here in the evening. Do you meditate? I do. No, I don't, but maybe I should. Definitely. So what did you want to talk about? Well, I talked to Maya earlier today. She told me why she decided to help you. How she found you passed out in the laundry room. She, she's incredible, for real. I wouldn't be sober without her. She's been helping me ever since that day. I know, but I would rather talk about what happened before that day. Oh, okay. 
Do you remember what you were wearing? Yeah, I think I was wearing a black outfit. A black hoodie? Yes. Why? Cash, what do you remember from the night before? Uh, not much if I'm being honest. You stab, you try to stab me! Do you remember being in my room? What? And do you remember holding a knife? What, what are you talking about? I, I, come on Cash, think. Do you remember what you did that night? I, it was him. He was trying to kill me y'all. Cash, are you okay? I remember. I had a couple drinks and I was upset and... I'm so sorry, Summer. Please forgive me, I was out of my mind. I don't know what I was thinking. I was so hurt. I thought you had killed Deanna and I was drunk. I lost control. I'm so sorry, I wish I could go back. It's okay, Cash. Don't cry. No, it's not. You had been nothing but nice to me and I was the worst. I hurt you when you were being my friend. It's all in the past, Cash. You weren't yourself back then. I'm just glad I finally know the truth about that night. I'm so terribly sorry. I will make it up to you, I promise. Who is this? <gasps> no. Summer, watch out! Does he have a gun? Because he shot Jeffrey. Who the hell are you? What do you want? Who is this? Oh my God. Are you freaking kidding me? So Cash was the one with the knife in my room that time. I cannot believe it. We found out who that was. Okay, that wasn't Siren, obviously. Siren was Jeffrey, but he was in the room. Now we know that that was my enemy at that time. But we still don't know who's standing in front of me as Phantom. And is he gonna kill Cash or me? We need to talk about it. Everybody leave me all the comments in the comment section below. I will be answering, reading, and doing all the things. This, is, this story gets better every time. Like this is like a TV show. They should have adapted this as a TV show. I, I think episode made one of their stories into a TV, a live action TV show, but they should have done this one. But anyways, make sure you stream my music. How about we stream tragic because so many tragic things have been happening. And check out the merch too at outfits.art because it does indeed slap. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.